Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. What? That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Well, there we go. No. But he should be able to visit his wife's grave himself. We need to clear the graveyard of those monsters and then... Then you can see her. Would you be the type to ever visit a graveyard? Me? Rarely. If like if you lived in the vicinity of a graveyard. I have to study super hard. I went to the uh, Rochester graveyard a couple of times, and it was actually quite pretty. But yeah, but no, no like have you ever, have I you ever really gone like to a grave to see really family nice. members? My grandfather kind of once or twice, but not really. Mm -hmm. I guess because I don't really think of them being at the graveyard. I can't believe I forgot all about If that the makes lesson. sense. I really mm -hmm. missed him. The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad the King? The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's got to be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout. And that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. The hideout is the only place that belongs to just us. I don't want to lose it because of some angry Toad King. After all that hard work, so much for studying. <laughs> okay, there's a chest around It's probably here. in the classroom. Yeah, they there it is. Why do you have this thing? They use it as a stool. <laughs> I guess. Perhaps. We'll just have the ether in it. Dinner time and I'm hungry. Speaking of dinner time and hungry, got any mm -hmm. plans for food? Or not really? Save our hideout. It's debatable. Most of what we have would we require some cooking. Yeah, it would require actual effort. And the last pizza. Well, it would be the last pizza. Which is an issue in and of itself, because. Frozen pizza is kind of our go-to last-minute thing in the instance that we don't have leftovers or something else to cook. You want to just make rice? Mm. I mean, I could, but what would I put on it? I like butter and salt. Egg works too. A little bit of curry. Yeah, I know. S some vegetables if you really want them. Or not. I just know that's like... You had two Soylents, practically, though. Leave this to me. I don't yeah. think so. My problem is they aren't particularly <laughs> filling. They've got calories, but I don't actually and feel, like, safe. full ever when I have a Soylent. Which I think is my big beef with them. Mm-hmm. Bring it. See, this is the problem with playing through dinner time. 
Well, normally I wait until uh, food gets made, and then I switch games, and that way there's not a problem. They stole my potion! That's well, you that. can steal it back, can't you? Uh, no, but I got a high potion in trade, so I guess it's kind of fine. Yeah, and that's the other thing. People are mentioning they, have, they haven't had rice for a while. We've been unsuccessful in ordering rice. Yeah. We'll have to see about it, our so drop-off or pickup. Leave this to me. I haven't gotten any notifications don't that they so. don't have some of these things, so we might be in luck. Mm -hmm. um, I got a notification that they're out of mason jars, though, so it means they are keeping track of their stock to some degree. Easy. And I don't think people are panic buying as much anymore because the what reality... What did you want mason jars for? Sourdough. Uh, yeah, because the only mason jars we have are the ones with the holes at the top. Because... For boba tea. Ooh, making boba tea would be good. I'd have to keep my eyes on the bobas, though. Yeah, also not very filling. No. Nope. Tasty, but... Not great for a hungry boy. Oh, there he is. Oh. Uh, and yeah, fried rice is good, but you have to have rice made up, and then you fry it the day after it's been in the fridge. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, hopefully people have kind of ceased panic buying, so we can um. Let's go. Let us through, or else. I mean, admittedly, we've been buying about a couple weeks worth of food every time we One have an shot. order in. So, not to say that we're necessarily panic buying, but we've been over buying what we would usually have. There. Oh, I Was hate a these things. Hopping on your head. Hang back. That was close. This might be it. Oh no, poor Aerith. It's almost down. Yeah. Because yeah, they they just bounce on her head repeatedly, and it does a lot of damage. Any time now. Get him. Yeah, because I don't want to make macaroni and cheese. I know that you probably wouldn't appreciate soup. So uh, let's see. I'll show you what I can do. So many of the other things I have, I have to cook up. Steady. Come on. Everything's spinning. I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to split a knife. Keep it up. Because that's more of a dessert. Back to good now. It's a really good dessert, though. It is a good dessert. I really like it. It's, what is it, mozzarella and a couple other sweet cheeses. Okay. With kind of a, it's supposed to look to be like a stringy filo dough. And then you put crushed pistachios and sort of like a sweet syrup sauce on it. Mostly it's like a Mediterranean, Middle Eastern dish. It's yummy. Gotta heal first. Ow. Lend me your strength. Go on. I'm waiting. I think it's Kunefe. It's, isn't it K-U-N-E-F-E -E or something? I think so. Let the winds caress you. But that's one of our frozen desserts. I've been dying to see you. This is a giant pain in the ass. Cloud ability thousand eels. Viking. Frustratingly enough, you actually have to kill the boss. I mean, we do have your Stay endless strong, supply okay? of chili, but I definitely lost my taste for it. I'm feeling pretty weak. Oh yeah, have you done all your push-ups for today? Uh, let's see. 
I don't think anybody asked for push-ups today, actually. Maybe they did. I oh, I think someone redeemed. No, well, there's oh, some push-ups. Oh, I had to highlight. Jesus Christ, this is really <laughs> annoying. Get him! Thanks so much for everything. Oh, so that's the king. Okay. We we're messing him up a bit. That's it. Just just me. Okay, abilities. Should probably assess this guy. Yeah, so I the Pie King know. acts as a healer and it has a ton of HP. The Hedgehog Pie King. Oh man, I wish we had Pie. The leader of a Hedgehog Pie Pack. The self-styled king wears a toy crown it picked up in the slums. It attacks by charging into foes with the spines on its back and by casting spells. Let's see. Enhances itself for a comrade. Yeah, it in does battles. have an ice weakness. <laughs> yep. Which I've been hoping that I can get to the point where. Need more Aerith what is your favorite pie? That it? Stop it! Pecan? <laughs> You like pecan pie. Pecan pie was really good. When have you ever had it around me, though? I mean, uh, maybe at Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That was when we went to my aunt and uncle's, right? Yeah. And you really liked the pecan pie? It was really good. Had you ever had pecan pie before? And it wasn't your aunt and uncle's. It was with your great aunt. Oh, oh, so it was her pecan pie. Gotta dig deep for this one. Okay. I we do win. admit, Stay there we go. Strong and carry Pecan on. pie is one of those rare treasures that I never get to have. Go on. Huh. I'm also really partial huh. to Here key lime and pumpkin. This one's for you. Key lime is a great summer pie. Huh. Feeling chilly? And when there I was a go. kid, and I ate safe. way too much cherry pie. Cherry pie was my favorite. I really like peach crumble, though. Like, not a pie, but kind of similar family. Would it be like a cobbler? Yeah, they're very similar. Essentially, it just doesn't have a pie crust. It's just the insides with a bit of the topping. Well, a lot of the topping. Did the crust is on the top, the and the crust king? is so much better. Mm -hmm. Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the king and his smelly friends. Thank <laughs> you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. I was going to comment on that. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. Do you notice how one of those kids has a bat covered in nails? Nails, yeah. I appreciate you getting I noticed the that one. King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only... Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them love them that even if we're not actually related we're still a family a real family in all the ways that matter if i can do that for them then well then maybe i'm making this world a better place i know you are my predecessor taught me everything i know i just took up his torch and ran with it i guess we uh not that i'm it. anything close to what he was or biggs biggs is one mm. of a kind oh <gasps> Oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Oh, maybe that's the box breaking thing. Yep. The game. Oops. Wait. So big. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? 
Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Cause I command a very good salary. Okay. Are you going to look at that bat? Yeah, we got two new weapons. Oh, gosh. Nail bat. Ability to disorder. Curly reinforced baseball bat. Designed to beat the living tar out of anything and everything. <laughs> Whoa. I see how this thing works. HP, luck, crit. A lot of materia slots. People are calling it Lucille. It has to be covered in blood to be called Lucille. <laughs> oh. I haven't seen the most recent season because I've only been watching The Walking Dead when it comes to Netflix, which is usually a season after the current season. But it'll be interesting to see where characters go. Now, does it have... Oh, it doesn't have any slots. Unless I get them manu manually. Oh, we need those materia slots. Hmm. Wait. You're spending stuff for materia slots? Yeah, skill points. Uh, I, don't have I just don't know points. if I'd want a nail bat as a weapon. Uh, it is decent. I, I prefer swords. Well, unfortunately, I can't use it yet. We need at least one more level before I can really use it. Main mm -hmm. problem is it doesn't have enough skill slots. Uh, but by finishing it, I get the, I get a special move. Mm -hmm. And unlock disorder permanently. Now she's got. Oh right, you got some new staff. Yeah, she's got silver staff. Yeah, okay. Staves, I should say. Magic attack. Magic attack. Ooh, MP regen. Uh, fifty percent boost. What if that's proportional to your maximum then? What have you been infusing in these orbits? Um so this is kind of the talent tree system? Yes. Uh let's see, so But I'm just wondering if what you're applying changes the appearance of those no. planetoids. I don't think it does. No? Nope. Okay. Because otherwise, the cores would look different. Maybe maybe it does. Maybe when it's filled out, it. Well, just the looks outer better. ones look like you have some green and you have some red. and. Well, I th that's just based on what they are. Ah, uh, okay. But can't use it yet. Okay, next up, we gotta go talk to Chadley. Oh. Because I think over here. Because we had one more mission from him. I don't know if he's going to have another one, though. Okay, and then we should probably see what's up with Aerith's mom. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. Okay, do you have more missions for me? I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Okay, so we have not steadfast block. Is it synergy? It's synergy. There we go. Allows an ally to follow the leader's attack command with an attack from a linked materia. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, so fire, ice, lightning, wind, and poison. Huh. So one character follows with their 
elemental materia attack. All of your future battle intel submissions. Yeah, that's interesting. So we got I mean, those... that's an easy way for you to command oh, hey. the use of more of those elemental spells. Yeah, because as it stands, allies don't use these things on their own. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. Verified hero? Oh. Oh, right. That's, that's if you want to game. get to the game. And then yeah. there's the um, then there's the old man. Oh, right. The graveyard. So we have the graveyard, we have the game, and then there's also just seeing if that guy has paid a visit to Aerith's mom's house. Yeah. So that that's plot. I always want to do the side quest first. Yes, of course. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired looking guy out by the community center. And I heard he was looking for some help. I heard the good news. You defeated the Toad King. Wait, but where's whack -a box Yeah, where's the whack -a box Maybe you have to go further up? Maybe. Yeah, I think you're a verified hero. So go talk to the person about the whack -a box yep. And then there's Angel of the Slums. And okay. Hello, I'm here for whack -a box Oh, hey, Cloud. You're just in time for our favorite game, whack -a box You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're going to make a special exception just for you. Well, what do you think? Do I have what it takes? Okay. Oh, so... You get an elixir, a, ooh, a crescent moon charm, spectral cog wheel, and a moogle medal. Sure. Well then. Destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box adds to your score. Once the timer reaches zero, game's over. Target score to win. Durability effects and score differ with each type of box. I wonder, though, if there's anything past that 1,500 box. Oh, yes, there is. You might just be better off plowing forward towards the higher level boxes. Because there are 100 level boxes at the top of those. I might want to just try another 1,500. I don't actually know if I hit either of them. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Nice. Ooh, what's that red box up ahead? Here it comes. Oh, is that more time? Get that one. Try this. I need like a whirlwind slash. Mm -hmm. Why don't you destroy that pile and leave 1,500 behind it? Because you might be able to owe this time box to yep. the top of that pyramid. Yeah, I'll see if I can... Eight, seven, so, six, five, four. These things are tough. Yeah. Does anybody know watching this, does this scale based on your attack power? Like, can I change my build to be better at that? Holy cow! You crushed it! See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? I know skills help. But you seem to have chanced that. Did you get everything that was available no, or there I, was going to be more? I was 10,000 off. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Because there was a 20,000 reward. Wait, you were 11? Because do we, like, if I went nail bat and crits, 
Would that help? Because I can't really go for attack speed. Oh, stronger swords. Problem is, my Buster Sword is actually my best sword uh, for damage. My question is, like, would putting a Luck Materia matter? Hmm. I mean, having any new Materia in that final slot would be good. Because you just didn't have anything in there. Well, I don't know if that matters. Please, stop. Okay, sorry. I wiggled my feet again. I will stretch. We'll be here Not whenever you want to play. Like, she'll stand up for a little while. Me. Like, I, I, I know you're frustrated by, by this suggestion, but... Yeah, she'll have, <laughs> have she'll do the push-ups. Push -ups. Good. <laughs> Yeah, I think getting distracted with the first couple boxes. Oh yeah, it, by the looks of it, this is one of those games where there are all those little boxes, but you might want to devote your time to the higher level boxes. At the same time, these higher level boxes take up so much time to plow through. But you have to get through them. Yeah. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That'll do. So maybe only go through the necessary boxes. There's also a time box. Yep. Because ten seconds is good. You probably want to get through the next two boxes. Those are what held you up last time. Yep. That'll do. No holding back. Woohoo! Okay, then there's the time at the top of this one. That'll do. Get ready. Well, you've gotten past the 20,000. Oh, there's a time. Ah, no time box. So that's another 10 seconds. Wait, is this the end? Or was there more up ahead? It doesn't matter. Still get a high score. The highest score. Whoa, I like that. Razor. Oh, that was easy. All right, so that gets me the gear. Why is there always a ah one way at the to end? Or on the whack stem. Box master. Whack, whack, whack. Am I? Am I not? Oh, I can also just farm Moogle medals this way. Apparently. Ah, because every time you do it. I mean, you're, you get a Moogle medal because it's at the zero for participation. Welcome, yeah. Koopo. Hey, Koopo, maybe you should play that box game. Then you'll get Moogle medals. Wave the fist. Thanks, you guys. I've got a whole mountain of Moogle medals now. Soon I'll be able to make everyone here super happy. That's wonderful. So, like Mog the Moogle, you'll be able to make all our hopes and dreams come true? Not just yours, Koopo. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgard love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopo. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopo. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So what's to stop us from selling directly to these collectors? 
Uh, Moogle Magic, Koopo? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys. By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place. Okay, time to go help an old man. People are asking what sector. This is sector five. Sector five. We Ciao. need to get to seven. Hmm? Ciao. What? We make rice. It can mm. even be brown rice. Hmm, that will take much longer. Yeah, it's fine. I just know I'm going to be real hangry soon. And by soon, I mean within like Mm. The next X number of hours. My lights have been on the fritz ever since that explosion. I, I just don't think the right that rice is way to the the way to go about it. Rice is like my old family uh we don't want to do any effort slash like we're doing other things. Let's just put rice on. I mean oh no, that was a bad idea. What? I was thinking about the the cookie brownie uh, mix. You wouldn't happen to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the Daily Buzz. Uh, I thought it was Daily Butts and I was like, what? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She oh. delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. And yeah, we do have a rice cooker, so the rice will be able to cook itself. I love it how this guy's like, my identity as a reporter has been revealed. And it's like, you're wearing a press armband, you yeah. ninny. Mm -hmm. Oh, the teacher is the angel. Do you think? Maybe. If she's doing this at night, or unless it's Yuffie. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mirei, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the whispered word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty that Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? I wish I knew what those avalanche people were thinking. Nice boy who went the tango of tears. Which is amusing because that's the end of battle song, I believe. You could see the sky. Try taking out the So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae, as in the Marae, the town gossip. I chased her for days, begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at lookout point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. 
It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Look out point. Got it. I'll check it out right now. But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Okay, let's go fight fight that old man. I mean, fight the graveyard. It's one fast push-ups. I could do them slower, but that hurts m more? I mean, obviously. But if I have to do 60 push-ups, I'm not going to do them at super slow, slow paces. Ah. Anyway, so, seeing as we were discussing this while filming, Chell's currently microwaving up a can, a can of clam chowder. Unfortunately, we're going to probably run out of that. I'd, I can't imagine that there's a whole lot of clam chowder sitting around anymore, which is a bit of a shame. But that's okay. I guess I'll double check. We're going to be picking up groceries on Tuesday, I think it is. Which will be nice. But if we're lucky, we'll actually have... Uh, We'll, we'll be able to get at least, like, half of this stuff we asked for. The problem is, uh, you know, there's only so much stuff available at grocery stores nowadays. And I'm a little worried. Oh. I went the wrong way. I was wondering why there are people here. Okay. Yeah, I apologize that I'm huffing and puffing. Push-ups is... Uh... Yeah, I mean, it's it's an exertion, even though, like, I've been doing them for the past month, month and a half now. It's still... This place takes it's 60 push-ups is 60 push-ups, no matter what. Okay, this is the right direction. There's nobody here, and everything's a lot more wrecked. I'm very glad characters can't, like, trip and fall in these games, though. Because that would be... I know it would be funny. Just be inconvenient. So what's this? Uh... Oh! Are these the critters for the reporter? Might be. We Come backtracked on. to the church, church yet. No, but we probably should. Okay. Let's switch it up. I'll show you what I... Go on! Spells... Is on a cloud. Stay strong, okay? I'm waiting. One more shot. Unfortunately, I feel like Poisona is going to be like kind of again? pointless on poor Aerith. They're just going to be attacking her a bunch, which blows. Because you really... I feel like this game needed slightly... Uh, slightly more... What am I going to say? Just a little shit. Uh, I'm trying, but... Uh, and she's poisoned again. You're still doing yeah, okay, I don't really know right? if getting rid of poison here is actually worth my time. Oh, right. That'll do. I don't know if it's worth my time. Okay, let's Best go for these right. guys. So this... Is this the graveyard? Okay. Subspecies of the grass strike that's marked with yellow and black patterning on its carapace. Also armed with highly potent poison. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks because poor Aerith is just getting smacked around. And... That's not great. Actually, I think we just need a regular cure on Aerith. Got a hint. <laughs> So, Here we go. Damn it. Try Don't close your 
Okay. This sucks. Oh, no. pretty nice. Gotta stay. This pretty sucks neat. so much. Uh, let's see. Bad time, Shell. To just put your butt in front of the screen. So these are what's Try haunting me. the graveyard? I don't... Is this the yeah. graveyard? This doesn't look like a graveyard to me. Don't close your... Where are the markers? God. I should probably Honestly, respectfully, first. screw these things. This is so shitty. Uh, as well as Kira, Aerith. I felt like I needed chocolate. I'm trying, but I've been in a very chocolate mood. Oh. This is so shitty. Wonder you underleveled. Can you even be underleveled in this game? I, I guess so. We've done everything we can, right? Aside from fighting random monster mobs? Yeah. That's kind of my problem. It's like, unless I'm just truly wandering around fighting the small amount of respawning enemies, there's no, like, grinding in this game that I've seen. <sighs> like, there just aren't enough monster mobs around to really feel like grinding is worthwhile. But it looks like I might have to? Like, Wander Please, it's, it's Final Fantasy, but like, there's no real mobs here. Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. Okay, spells. Like, I get it. It's Final Fantasy. Grinding is Gotta normally part first. of these games, but I've yet to see any, like, good... Kinda hurt. I've yet to see any good grinding spots or even things that I could grind for. I'll take care of you. Wait, did they get rid of my regen? Wait, what? Big deal. Oh. That's so shitty. So, poison replaces regen. That's annoying. So I don't think it's a good idea. I don't even know how many enemies there are. But there were a couple of semi-repetitive enemies behind the hideout. Wait, where's the hideout? Uh, wait, wh where's the hideout? For the kids? Yeah. Wait. I'm studying so I can read a ton of books. Oh, no. Hmm? Okay. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. What's wrong? Where's your save? Did you load to somewhere you shouldn't have? I loaded to the last checkpoint. Hopefully loading to the last autosave works. What did the last checkpoint have? They wouldn't undo all of your quests, would you? Would they? I... Uh, if you loaded the wrong save, potentially... I think this will work. This was later on. But then what about the box minigame, finding all the kids? No, no, I, I think this will be fine. But... Okay. So did this we, is... Did we win everything, though? We did, but I have to go redo the talking to the reporter. Oh, okay. That's so stupid. So my options were... I, I, I'll have to check next time I get defeated like that, but my options were retry battle until I win. Come on, Cloud. Keep going. Why would they... Ugh, that's such a dumb thing. 
Because going to the last checkpoint should reset you to the last NPC you talk to. 